If you look for the best build for Luna Apache 11.15, you've come to the right place. Enjoy the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. What's up, snowballs, and welcome to patch 11.15. We are currently up against a Yi in the enemy jungle, and this might be a weird invade, and I can't stay there because, well, I'm kind of low on health, but I can still resume jungling, and due to that invade, I skipped my snowball. We got three kills overall. Sadly, Yi got a kill, which is overall bad for us. However, we can start jungling with the snowball here, which is pretty nice to do. Only thing is, since we get the snowball, we don't have the consumer up yet, and does need to use our smite there to kill us camp a little bit faster, and then we can walk over to the red buff. Also, you don't want to stay on level 1 at all. You want to leave level 1 as soon as possible, that's how I need to word it. And since I already cleared the red dust, I think this upwards there is not exactly the best move. Instead, I need to kite it downwards so that I can reach this point here. And we already get another kill on, on whom? I'm, I didn't quite get it. Anyway, we are going for the best build on patch 11.15 and it... Now, let's, let's not spoil the surprises, if it is even surprising anymore. But since the enemy team has a Draven, we are definitely looking forward to the snow, but to camping that lane so that he can't get his stacks up and stay small. We get a good early, or rather, not a good early game, but rather a playable early game so that the Draven can't pop off and then enjoy the rest of it as Draven can't just up and. Apart from that, it is pretty much there. Well, not exactly. The castle in here needs to go back because he's at... What is that even? 50 HP? Okay, here's a corrupting potion, at the, but that's just not enough. So, um, their best odds are probably the bot lane and mid lane. And yep, that's exactly what happens if you stay without any HP left on your lane. But maybe I should have spotted that out that he doesn't want to get it back since this wave is a little bit big and then I could have... Help them out, got that wave, and well, now I can. Oh, I can get stub double scuttle here. Because if I reach this wave, I'm already a little bit too late, so that's not really worth it. But the thing is, I would love to just go do for double scuttle, but the enemy bottom lane is really overextended right now, and the wave is not in their favor because it's not a stack wave. So we are going for the bot lane gank. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they know it as well. Just barely. Well, not just barely, I guess. So, if only... Okay, we get the kill, but... Ash, if only you had walked with us in the beginning. Anyway, we get another kill there. Draven is stackless again. And we can either transition gank into mid lane, or just go for top lane there, or top scuttler. Depending on if it is still up. And that's not a way I can gank there. So, I'm... Rocking around here. Well, I gave my, away my position, but it shouldn't be too bad. So I get this up. And Castle and Time Kench can both rotate, which we see on the map. So this scuttle is mine. No need to make any dumb plays there, so I'm just securing it. And then I take this Raptor Camp. And most likely the Krug Camp afterwards as well, so that I've cleared my top gradient here. And then I can recall and get some good items, as we already had for, uh, for assists here, due to the early invade. I wasn't quite sure if I could start commentating there, so... It always feels a little bit weird, since sometimes there's nothing happening at all during such an invade, and then sometimes everything is going on. So, question of the day. What is your favorite gym exercise? For me it is Quads and my personal record is there at 100 kilograms or for the American folks it is 220 pounds I believe. Something along those lines. So yeah, let me know what yours is <laughs> and hopefully I will finally have some time to answer the comments again. Which I should have later this day, which is Wednesday my dudes. So yeah, we are taking that recall. You got two free kills on Kassan now, since this Kassan doesn't want to go back. But we've already realized that. And honestly, I would I would say normally say, yo, that's not too bad, but it's the up on and with each kill that he gets, it's a complete disaster. But since we are able to keep that wave low, it's not too bad overall. 
since at least the enemy ADC isn't also popping uh, popping off there. And Kessin honestly just needs to survive the early game. Also, yeah, with this team we honestly I think we have enough disables here, so that it shouldn't matter too much. I'm using Smite here, give this guy another hit, and should be completely out. Or not, I'm not sure. And I'm not taking the risk. Okay, just check it. He's 17 CS down, and due to catch-up experience, which is a bad mechanic overall, he's allowed to not be behind. Well, and you can't alpha strike the Nuno while he's in a snowball because you're inside of him and the hitbox extends over there. So yeah, thank you, Kesson, for rotating, which was uh, which made us able to get that kill. And kills on you always feel good since I don't like you. Like, I can't even enjoy playing him. I just think... Uh, I don't know. I don't like it. But if you like it, it's fine. Okay, and since he is dead, once more, I would love to go for that Scuttler. But if they don't have vision here, which they do for some reason, <laughs> since he hasn't switched to Red Trinket, um, if they don't have vision here, I can go for a Tower Dive. Well, if the enemy was there, which... Apparently they aren't. So instead, I'm trying to go for that kill on Silas here. Assuming that, well, he definitely has stuff up. And the Z can rotate, so I'm not taking the risk of actually fighting that. Since if I commit to this, he will come and kill me. I don't need to take that risk. But I definitely take this risk, since I can press Q once. And if Silas goes for it, yeah, exactly. Oh, he is he circling around really? Does he really want to do that? Apparently, he wants to go for the blue buff. That's like the best assumption I could make here. And we absolutely know that he should be here, or not? Okay, then I guess he recalled over there and this pressure, this brush, but. After all, he's not here. And this means I'm taking Flu Drop. I'm Kench got the top scuttle, so I don't need to worry about that. He is on bottom side. And well bottom lane is currently not gankable. I just yeah, that was not the best move because now I wasted my smite. Which I absolutely didn't need to since my Q was already finishing off the blue buff. Hmm. First check vision. Okay, we can go for it, I think. Only thing that is a little bit bad. I don't have my smite up, and I would love if you pulled this out. Yeah, please pay me for that. Because I'm not trying to give stuff away for free. If Lux is throw some spells around uh, over the wall in a weird way, I might be able to lose that since I don't have smite. Okay, so we go for that kill on Silas, who most likely still has mobility up. Or not. Get it for free. And I didn't even didn't say it, but Daxi was like the best item you can build, most efficient wise, since even building it as a standalone, it is incredibly worth it. This thing does everything. Not, well, not everything, because it doesn't give you like um, armor or magic resistance, but it gives you health and ability power, and both is really nice to have as Nunu. And even the basic stats of it are insanely good on it. And if you then get sex, it just becomes a problem. Which, of course, is not even hard to do if you play your cards right. Having zero deaths. Well, the only guy that can really play is Kazuhite right? is Twisted Fate. Okay. Can I go for the stop line? I think so, yes. He's also on the lookout. Okay. So we definitely want to be on top side right now. Because I'm pretty sure this guy is about to try and gank top lane. And we want to make sure that we are not seen here. Come on. Hit, please. Oh. This didn't work before as well. Ah, oh, nice. Triumph, please. That's not enough. Oh, no, no, no. Stupid ignite. Yeah. I forgot about the Silas, I guess. Good move. But he, sure, he won't be able to get out from this, I think. Or rather, I would be surprised if... If he gets another um, Abyss Voyage, his mobility spell, he might be able to. Or if he just doesn't get any hits there. 
I'm waiting for one more control rod. And then I move towards this Guttler here. But I also need to shut down this Draven, I think. Come on, show me your stacks. Okay, not yet. Which means I can start from top side, get this Guttler, and then move towards bottom lane when Draven has some stacks again. And after that, Kelly will most likely be so turtled that he is gonna leave the game since he is not getting his stacks off. And as a Draven, that's pretty tilting. Okay, get Scuttler. Triple ward, nice. That's 90 gold. And since we are not playing AP Nuno, we are going for an Emax second, as it is not as important to have your max damage on W, since you only want to provide the utility. Uh, try to get the cannon in there. Really? I, I forgot about that. And I'm immediately getting the reward of it. Yeah, I should have maybe checked which ultimate he has. Reasons to not be ch challenger yet. That's not a good fight. Um, pretty sure that was not what they meant to do. It works out overall as a 2 for 2 trade, but it's still so awful, um, it does not work out, since Silas healing is still busted despite getting nerfed hard. Alright, so, two for, no, 3 for 1 <laughs> in mid lane, Gesson is getting some kills though, so even though the Silas is getting stuff there, it's not to his benefit, or rather not as much as he would love to. Come on. You want to fight me, I know it. Lame. Suddenly he knows that he would be about to die. Double tower on bot lane, nice. He is on bottom side. And this guy is not killable by me, so I'm going for the Rift out here. Because if I don't have the Bomber yet against Mundo, I can't deal with him. And against that team, <laughs> I was about, I was, uh, I was sure I could say this. Against a team with Yi, Mundo, and Draven, this will be extremely good since Draven loves to go for nice steal. Mundo has life steal, not life steal, has um, a good amount of region in his kit in general. And since it's Yi, it's kind of a no-brainer to go for Bomber against him. By the way, I would love to buy a Frozen Heart against Yi players, but his ultimate makes you unable to slow him down there, so that doesn't work. And since this is a full AD comp, boots are not a general part of the best build. It depends on the enemy team. But the farm mail definitely is a part of the best build, unless the enemy team has zero healing. And they always have some kind of healing because of runes or whatever. So you can't skip out on it. But boots in this case are there because the only root they have, or rather the only hard CC that can get reduced by tenacity is Lux Binding here. And apart from that, it's knockups or anything else. So that doesn't work. And we get the Scuttler there. And it looks like we are about to fight for a Drake here. Pull it out. Pull it out. I hate it so much when I just stand in this pit. Especially against something like Lux. Well, I can do this. But still, if you have the option of going for a way safer play, why not just do it? Okay, yeah, nice. Get the yield. He yielded. <laughs> Somebody can... Uh, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, okay. I, I guess that works, but it's... This is like the worst tower that I could have placed here. Okay, since there's currently no objectives up, well, <laughs> by the way, this was like the worst part of that fight. The enemy just completely inted after the objective was already done. Why? And I should have placed that Herald in mid lane, because then it would be able to maybe get another tower there, but uh, it happens. Okay, good job Ash, by the way. Yep, yeah, it's out. Nice. And we get Wolf Camp here. Then we look towards our mid lane. And do we need to go there? He's on bottom lane to that side, is only on the map. 
Yeah. Okay, no. If that thing had landed, I would have gone a mid lane there. But since it didn't, I can now go for a base. Get my belt, get myself a Bramble Vest. And zero control works because I'm already at two and have not placed. Good job, Laris. Well, uh, at least. And at least he didn't get a kill there. But Ash getting taken down like that, ooh, that's rough. Okay. Mm, if he gets in one more Q, he might have a chance. Nice, good dodge. Good one, good one, really good. Oh no. And I would still move there. Even if I was way too late. Just because it might help out. Um, I see. That's not a bite I can take. So I'm kind of just going for the recall. Yeah, and... Now imagine if I hadn't stayed there, or if I hadn't stood there, and... The time Kench would have still overextend because he didn't see the enemies there. Then time Kench would be dead after this, uh, after this play there. Well, not... Not for sure, but it's definitely better to have saved him like that. Even if he just... Would have gone back by himself. Come on. Lead out. Or about burnout. Nice. Oh. This is such a nice team to have against E. We have enough disabled. One hard CC, one silence, another hard CC. Well, two even. And then even my snowball. So, yeah, this is not the best game to pick a E. Now we are going to help the Cassadin or not. What do you think? Oh, he has my ult. Oh no. But honestly, it's pretty scary <laughs> because it's quite bad. Nice. Good ping there. Well, I can't kill this guy. Depending on how he moves. Yeah, not like that. But I'm definitely trying to make um, trying to make him overstay there. And also take this red buff. Yep, this is my This is how I think the game is fun. Nice one. I don't need to fight you. Okay, can we actually kill this guy now? This would be so hilarious. Him overextending like that and paying the price. No, okay. But still, I think it was quite important to... Oh no. Oh no. To make him stay there, because then my team could take down the base. Good ping. Nice. Okay. Not exactly good or bad. This might work out though. Or not. Senna is pretty squishy. Nice, finally. And, well, I would love to go for this drag, but Ash already has it. Which means we can just take down the bot lane tower here. Enjoy our drag. He is still low. Draven has zero kills. This game looks pretty one. And if we overextend like that, we can actually lose. I'm Oom, so I'm going back. And I would love if you guys did the same thing since the Silas is about to respawn and... Well, we are burning through all our spells all the time. So I'm taking this recall, refill my mana, get to the 4 mail, and go back into the fray, or oh, rather, this is the best call right now. We got two inhibs open, so they should have no chance defending against the Baron, or uh, defending that Baron, or contesting, however you want to say it.
that this guttler is an extra security measure or not as it is not really needed control what's placed zero of zero okay um yeah that were oh okay crazy by the way i think that ignite should be like oh it does apply 60 percent previous wounds okay i didn't say anything Now we go for this lane here. Just play around the lane where it's still, where it's still stuff. It's so easy. Going for that mid lane is such a mid play. Mid play. Uh, mid play. Nice. Okay. By the way, I would have loved to go for a Magus here as well. But since the farmer is more important due to region items as well as Mundo, I'm not doing it. Even though I would love to. Okay, and our team is fighting. So despite me walking through the tower, I think it is quite important to be able to be there. Enjoy the 60% previous wounds. Oh no, I'm dead, aren't I? Yep. I thought I still had my Q up, but instead I should have used my W in order to get a little knock up and then I could have pressed consume. Not like it matters in this game, but keep that in mind. And this is the best build for Nunu in patch 11.15, as usual sadly. <laughs> it's it won't change as much as unless like Deathman's plate gets a huge buff or some other item. BP items for example get a huge buff that Nunu can really thrive on or his Hit gets changed around a little, so it sadly doesn't deal as much damage, but if we check out healing done, mm, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, damage taken. Oh, okay. <laughs> Save mitigated damage? Mm, yeah, but it is still the best build, and if you like it, hit the like and subscribe button. See you.